Welcome back, everyone. That was Xbox Sam. We're having so much fun with uh, Sean Paul with the Indian Journal. We were asking him tons of questions, and we have to save some of them for other episodes because right. there's so much that intrigues us. Absolutely. That yes. we want to know. And look what we're sitting here right here. Yeah, that Can would I be a flying one? car. Yeah, well, who wouldn't want one? And you know what? I think that is. Uh, what people imagine when they say flying cars are coming. I don't know. Do you guys recall when the year 2000 hit? It's like, okay, we're in the future. Yeah. Where's my flying car? Yeah, exactly. And we are still waiting, right? We are. But uh, last week we talked about um, uh, uh, technology from Roswell, and now yes. here we are talking about flying cars, mm -hmm. and we might come full circle on this one today. All right, so okay. um, a lot of times, okay, so let's talk about the naysayers that say it's not going to happen. Okay. Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of him? Yes, I know him. Tesla. Te Tesla yeah. and SpaceX. Yes. He's got a company that creates rockets where they take off, and they land in reverse on the launch pad. Have you not seen that? No. You want to talk about real magic? That's what this guy's all about. The the rockets land in reverse. He's a brilliant, brilliant guy. He says flying cars are not going to happen. Well, oh. now I'm thinking all kinds of crazy things like how do you regulate who drives where? Oh yeah, and we're not we have we don't have time we're not even going to get into that. But I he's know. just saying, look at those drones, the small ones that they yeah. fly around and take pictures mm -hmm. with. That weighs maybe three pounds, right. and listen to all the noise that thing makes. Yeah. Now make it a thousand times heavier mm -hmm. with passengers. How loud is it going to be? You know. Yeah. And are you going to land it on your roof or your car or your house without upsetting the neighbors? I mean, yeah. that is that is a huge, huge issue. I kind of agree right? with him. It's okay. Not happen. All right. Yes. So another critic. This this is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Do you know who that is? No. Astrophysicist and the host of Cosmos. Another brilliant guy. And he says, it's not going to happen. And he says, too much noise. He says, what about this? Your car breaks down on the road like I just experienced on the way up here. <laughs> and it stays on the road. It just stops moving. But if you're up in the air, exactly, yeah. you uh, fall from the sky. And that's a big concern, you land right? You somebody that's on the road. And then it gets that, yes. Well, I'm so, just talking about crashing in general. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to crash right. and, and then we're fall get, out the we're, sky. We're getting there in a second here. But one thing he did say is, regarding the noise thing, do you remember a time, like 25 years ago, when a, f a plane flew over and you'd have to stop what you were saying and, and stop oh. a conversation because it was so loud? Yeah. Now yeah. you can have lunch next to the airport and it's not a big deal. Yeah. Because yeah. they've quieted down those turbines. Mm -hmm. Something that carries hundreds of people, right. yeah, they've right. quieted it down. So that could negate the whole noise issue. But what about crashing? But what about safety? Well, let's look at the first one, the Maverick. There, oh boy, isn't that attractive. Yeah. It's a dune buggy that drives like a real car, and when you sprout the, the wings, you'll go 40 miles an hour. However... Look at to the right hand side. That's what it looks when you don't get a picture perfect landing oh my in British Columbia, Canada, and that was very close to an elementary school. Wow. Scary, mm. right? Yes. Okay, so that's the Maverick. Okay, and here's the problem with the discussion back to the future, right? Yeah. We want our flying cars and we want it to look like that, right? Amen. Right. And, and really, the point of this whole segment is it's never probably going to be that way because you take the mechanics of a, of a heavy car and then try and make it fly. It's, it's got, you get to pick one or the other, okay. really. And so Elon Musk says, you want a flying car, put wheels on a helicopter, and there you go. And there you go. Because you, you, you just can't get them both. But having said all of that, mm -hmm. there are big players in the industry, big companies, Volvo and Dahmer. Uh, the guy who, uh, one of the founders of Google, is backing two different companies that are trying to come up with prototypes. They're trying to make it happen? They're very serious. So be, beyond the naysayer, oh, Uber. They're like getting ready to partner with whoever can bring them the first flying taxi. So oh my gosh. I'm not kidding you. All right, so let's go to Dubai. All right. Oh wait, is it, are we going to do that one yet? Okay, that's a concept car, um, and that one is called the Terrafuge, and I think that one looks beautiful. Again, I don't know that that's ever going to happen. That's what it would look like on the road. Okay. And then when it flies, we have three minutes left. Okay. When it flies, it sprouts these these oh, turbines. Wow. Yeah. Looks great, but I think that could be decades away. Right. Yeah, I think okay. so. Right. Right, then you got the Volocopter. Okay, that one, that's the, the, the wow. crown prince in Dubai. Wow. He says he wants to have the first taxis in his country. But what this, then they want to have what's called the hover surf. In, in Dubai, they want law enforcement to be riding that. What is that? Yeah, that's, a, is that's like a motorcycle with props. It's a flying food processor. I would not want the cops chasing me knowing that I could get diced up by that thing. I also oh, no. wouldn't want to be riding it. Look at, no. he's got to be wearing Kevlar. That's going to take off his kneecap. This is not a good design. Dangerous, right? right? No. Then there's the IFO. That's called the identified flying um, object. Uh -huh. All right. Look at how you get out of it. Let's go to the next slide on that one. It actually descends. That one has like 12... Um, 
fans. We, I got to keep going through here. The black fly. This is probably one of my favorite. This one actually soars around in the air like a, a fish. It's absolutely beautiful. It's considered ultralight. It's only got capacity for one person. Eight engines. The inventor was showing it off, and when he stood behind one fan, it almost knocked him over. And that was oh just my one. Oh gosh! But it's super loud. Wow. That's yeah. the problem. So we go back to the whole thing. But uh, so then let's talk about CES. It just took place last week in Las Vegas. Right. That's Consumer big. Electronics yeah. Show. Mm -hmm. Biggest one in the country. Biggest electronics show in the world. I know somebody that was there and they were exhibiting right across the hallway from this beauty. Look at that. That's eight turbines. It's called a, vi a vitro vehicle, which means vertical takeoff and landing. So we're not Vertical. talking about cars that drive, but we're talking about personal aircraft. Okay, that is really cool. That's what it would look like wow. flying. It was the rage at the CES show. It was a showstopper, and Uber can't wait to partner up with that. Oh, and look at what it says on the side there. Bell. Bell Technologies, which uh, created the patent for the integrated circuit that came out of Roswell. Man, this oh, is from great. last week. You remember wow, that? Yes. I, you tied it all together, Sean Paul. Thank you. That's what Sean. I do. Okay, so basically, oh, yeah. no flying cars, but okay. it's more like that. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. Meet George Jetson. <laughs> yes. His, yeah, his boy, Jane. No, no. Too. Jane, his wife. That's the end. His boy, Elroy. She wanted okay. to do the wife. Daughter, Judy. <laughs> right, right. Uh, Jane, his wife. There we okay, go. All right, wait go. a minute. Where's the dog? Isn't there a dog? Yeah, asteroids right yeah, there. there. But yeah. I don't think they said his But name actually, in my it. point is, is that's more the direction we're going than the Back to the Future flying but car. But think about car, this: yeah. twenty slash twenty coming up soon. Isn't that crazy? And the last one we showed, they're looking at the twenty twenties, mid twenty twenties, is when they're going to have that vehicle ready. Hey, I don't like it in an airplane. I ain't getting a flying car <laughs> or a flying need, helicopter. We need a whole show of intrigue journal. Thank I you so agree. much. That would be Stick fun. around. I agree.